All right, good to see you guys back. Uh, a little backstory on today's review. It is a 15 year old Sherry Bomb review. Uh, these are my top Sherry Bombs that I have personally. Uh, I've had these for a while now and I've been meaning to do this just to prove what's the best Sherry Bomb. And a few months ago, I did serve these and the winner that was chosen, I didn't agree with. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do my own review, blind review. I mixed them up as best I could. Uh, we're going to go with glass one, glass two, and glass three on the review. We're going to make it simple, just basic nose and palette, right? Uh, so let's get started on glass one. This is very dark. It's the darkest of the three. Uh, and with the bottles, I'm, I'm almost guessing what it is, but... Really rich fruits, really rich fruits, dark fruits, strawberries and cherries mix, a little bacon spice on there, very rich, musty. So they're all sherry casts. This is, uh, I don't know which one is which, but we have two Highlands and one Space Eye. And sherry cast, you know, a lot of sherry cast scotch gives you that deep, uh, sometimes you get that musty, that, that musty basement smell on top of all that sweet sherry fruit. So we're going to go to glass two. Very pleasant. Dial down. Fruits. Sweet fruits. Red fruits. Not picking up a heavy mustard at all. Glass two is a very pleasant. I'm just rating these real quick on a score of one to five. Uh, the nose on glass one, I'm going to go back to that. I'm going to give that a three. The nose on glass two, I'm going to give a three as well. I do like glass one just came for overabundance of rich fruits um, where it could almost be overwhelming on the palate, but it smells very, very good, but it's just very rich. Glass two was just so subtle and delicate, but very, very well and sophisticated smelling. Uh, so they both scored three, but two total different opposites, right? It's all in what you're into. Uh, so let's go to glass three. Ooh. You're picking up some oak, the red fruits, the sherry bomb is definitely there. It's definitely in play. Ooh, plums, dark plums. Glass three, I'm going to go with uh, two on the nose, two and a half. Go palette, glass one. Wow, that's a lot. That is a definition of a sherry bomb. Whatever glass one is, it's just have a picture of glass one when you say sherry bomb. Well, that was everything, it was just overwhelming. It was grapes. Raisins, strawberries, strawberries, cherries. It was just everything rich, soaked, saturated, like molasses, just a flush of it. All these are 46% as well, right? Which is a good thing. Let me go back in for a second. See, I'm still getting over that first one. Whoa, that was a rush. These are my first drinks of the day as well, so. I'm on a dry palate, so of course the first one's going to do that. Now I'm getting some vanilla, some pepper, some chocolate, it's cocoa, like a dry cocoa powder. On the palate, I'm going to go a three and a half for glass one. 
Glass two. On the file. Very oily, not the fruit that I was expecting. Glass one may have kind of ruined glass two for me as far as the fruit. Uh, very oily, viscous mouthfeel, uh, pepper. You get your fruit in there, you get your red fruits, but not as strong. Let's do glass two again. Once again, I'm not getting the overabundance of, of uh, sherry. Uh, it is very, the nose matches. It's very delicate. I like it. I, I like the oily feel, the viscous feel, how I just coach the mouth, the palate. Uh, nowhere near as sweet as sherry as the first one, but very well put together. I'm going to go just with a solid three for glass two. Glass three. She looks pretty dark and rich, just like the first one, if not darker. Early black pepper, fruit, stewed fruits. Dry cocoa powder kind of lingering, lingering on the finish. That pepper still there. It's going for a second sip. Sort of like glass two. Very oily, viscous. Um, nice mouthfeel. It's a lot of a lot more pepper in that one. All right. So I'm going to go with uh, a two and a half again for glass three on the palette. That's going to leave our winner to glass one by a half a point over glass two. That is what do we have here? The Balvini. Whoa, I was not expecting that. I was for sure that was the Glenallocky. The Balvini, 15 year old, takes first place. Second place is the Glendronic, the Revival. Glendronic takes second place, 15 year old, which means the Glenallocky brings up the rear. I was for sure this was number one. I thought these two were switched. Wow. Wow. All three are beautiful drams. 15 year olds uh, spent most if not all of their uh, maturation in sherry cask. They're all 46%. Uh, we have two. I think we have one space side and it is the Glenallocky. Glendronic is Highland. Balvini is going to be Highland. And then Space Side is going to be Glenallocky. Like I always said, Space Side is still Highland. It's just a suburb of Highland. It's all the same thing. Uh, but I'm going to finish this. I'm going to pick out a cigar. And I'm going to have one single sherry bomb to go with that cigar. Oh, buddy. What's it going to be? Till next time, like, subscribe. Thank you for coming to see me, uh, D-Rich Spirits. It's time to hit the cigar room. Later, guys.